may be seated. Come to order. Department 35 now session. The Honorable Richard Blaviano presiding. Melissa Huckabee, fill in the arraignment. No holds. Ms. Huckabee is present. What does that mean, Allison? I think she's fine where she is, Your Honor. All right, Ms. Huckabee. There's been a complaint filed in case number SF 111539A that alleges in count one a murder in that on, in on or about March 27, 2009, the crime of murder in violation of section 187 of the Penal Code of Felony was committed by Melissa Huckabee, who at the time and place last before said had been willfully and unlawfully and intentionally with malice of forethought murder Sandra Cantu, a human being. There are three special circumstances alleged. In the first special circumstance, it is further alleged that the murder of Sandra Cantu was committed by defendant Melissa Huckabee, while the said defendant was engaged in the commission of the crime of kidnapping in the violation of Penal Code Sections 207 and 209. In the second alleged special circumstance, it is further alleged that the murder of Sandra Cantu was committed by Melissa Huckabee, while the said defendant was engaged in the commission, attempted commission, or immediate flight after the commission, or attempted commission, of the crime of performance of lewd and lascivious act upon the person of a child under the age of 14 in violation of Penal Code Section 288 within the meaning of Penal Code Section 190.2, parentheses A, parentheses 17, parentheses E. In the third special circumstance, it is further alleged that the murder of Sandra Cantu was committed by Melissa Huckabee, while said defendant was engaged in the commission, attempted commission, or immediate flight after the commission, or attempted commission, of the crime of rape by instrument in violation of Penal Code Section 289, Within the meaning of Penal Code Section 190.2A17K. It also put on notice that the evidence presented at the preliminary phase hearing will also be used for any violation of probation and for requests for discovery. Ms. Huckabee, um, Public Defender's Office, Ms. Schwarzenberg represents you on, on another case in front of the court. Did you want that office to represent you on this case as well? Uh, and I'll go ahead and point the Public Defender's Office on this case. Thank well. you, Your Honor. Ms. Hortford, did you have a moment to talk to her? Do you need a moment to talk to her? I did speak with her very briefly, Your Honor. And um, with regard to the complaint that's before the court, we are not at this time entering a plea. And we are requesting that the matter be continued to the 24th of April for further arraignment in connection with this matter. I understand that she's had a medication evaluation. I would ask that a further medication evaluation be commenced. I'll order further medication and evaluation. And you want the, the case to come back on the 24th? I do, Your Honor. Um, also, in light of the publicity that this matter has garnered, I am requesting that uh, the court at this time make an order prohibiting both sides from discussing the case with the media. Wow. Um, Mr. Chester, did you have any comments on that at this point? I'll submit it, Your Honor. Um, prior to doing that, the case um, obviously involving a special circumstance allegation is going to be assigned for all purposes. So I'm going to assign the case for all purposes to Judge Van Oss. Um, Judge Van Oss is next on the list. Um, we could have it in, in Department 24. Um, that would be um, right now, is it the date of the April 24th? I'm sorry. In Department 25. Um, we'll say that for now. I'm not sure if that's going to wind up in the courtroom, but we'll use that courtroom for now. Um, at one third. Right. And then, at least at this point, Judge Van Oss's request was to talk to the attorneys prior to issuing any orders, so I will leave the issue of the uh, gag orders to Judge Van Oss on the 24th. You can bring that up to Judge Van Oss. Very good. Right. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Um, the order should be held without a 